<coughs> excuse me. So in religious teaching, it says, judge not, least ye be judged. If you can dish it out, then you can take it. If you can call a person a child killer, then when it's your turn, you want to get upset. And not only are you a child killer, you are a children killer. Who knows how many people you have murdered? You don't want to hear that. Then you want to return home and become pro-black, black this and that. And you don't even live among the black. You move out into the suburbs. Do you return back to the hood and help the black? No, you do not. You sit on your, on your backside all day watching the news, giving news reports. What organization do you belong to? Who do you help? You always talk about Farrakhan. You talk about Sharpton. You talk about all these leaders. Do you help them? No. You want to call me an Uncle Tom. And you talk about Farrakhan. When I went into the army, I went into God's army. That's what they call the fruit of Islam, the FOI. I helped Louis Farrakhan for, from seven to nine years. I did not register for the selective service because since I love black people, I'm not going to be used by the racist, but you allowed yourself to be used by the racist because you didn't have no money. So you are the sellout. I found a way not to go to the Caucasian person's people's military. We don't know what you went through. You ain't the only person on the planet that suffered, that don't have no money, that went through, through different things. Muhammad Ali gave up his title of the belt because he refused to go kill people that didn't do nothing to him. And now you move to the subs. You talk all this black stuff. And you ain't did nothing for black people. Then or now. You have nobody to, to, to support that you have done anything except talk. About what somebody should and should not do. And you have tried to do and help nobody. Chicago is suffering tremendous crime in the hood. Do you take and have you taken your, have you even offered your skills to anybody? No, you have not. Have you reached out to the veterans in Chicago? Hey, brothers, let's get together. We need to do something. No, you have not. But you can come on and make accusations against men that you do not know that they are child killers. And you are a child killer yourself. For racists. If they helped murder Emmett Till, it was under duress. In law, it is called motivation. If these men killed Emmett Till, what was their motivation? The motivation that the Caucasian people had was simple racism. Hatred for black people. That was their motivation. What was the motivation? What is the benefit of these black men or one man to kill this young child? They were never charged. They were never accused. Where is your proof? You want to get upset because we asked you these questions. If this was a court of law, any judge would throw your accusations and allegations. It would dismiss the case because you offer no proof. No exhibit A, no exhibit B, no nothing. You want... For some reason, you believe that you're going to the military, you're supposed to be praised. I'm Uncle Tom, and you went to the service to fight for your country. You never hear me talk about, this is my country. This ain't my country. I don't give a damn about the United States of America. And I damn sure not going to fight for them. And I don't suggest nobody to go to the military. Yes, pick up cans. Yes, do whatever legal kind of work you can find. I'm not going into the military. 
You want to live comfortable. That's what it is. You want to be a comfortable person. So you figure, I'll go to the military so somebody can take care of you. And they did. And now you come back here all pro-black, broken up, your body destroyed. Your mind destroyed. You said this yourself. That you're taking psycho drugs. And your trolls say that I should take psycho drugs. I never taken no psycho drugs. I feel sorry for you taking psycho drugs. Maybe that's why you cannot think properly and you can't see the man in the mirror. I'm jealous of you. Here you are spreading unproven accusations against myself and men long past this life that suffered under Jim Crow. Spreading gossip and being emotional like the women you talk about. You flagging people. You blocking because you can't handle the heat. The questions that people bring you. As long as I've been on YouTube, I have faced everybody. All these chumps have come my way. And all these chumps got dumped. Then, Google itself attacked me. 60 channels destroyed. Angel Snuff Nuff 7 is still here. You want to call somebody a child killer? But you don't want to look at yourself. You're a child killer. That's why I brought that up. If you can judge people. If you can call people names. Then you should be able to take it. Anything that I say. If you bring it back to me. I can take it. I can prove. And I have proved that. I'm a nobody. I don't get views anymore. But everybody know me. But I'm a nobody. Why should you even care if I'm a nobody? Why should you even address anything in relation to me? Then you want to distract people with personal attacks telling me about painless risen. I could care less about painless risen. I'm talking to you. Painless risen doesn't mean nothing to me. Nobody don't tell me what battle I should fight. Who, who, who and what I should talk about. That's a distraction tactic. I'm talking to you. You are the one making these allegations. Accusations. And don't prove ain't brought no evidence whatsoever. I'm not going to call you a woman basher like Tommy Sotomayor. You have some type of problem with women. These women do this. These women do that. The single mothers. What's up with that? You never said, oh, the, these men do this. The men do that. The single men. You have a problem with women also. And then these faceless black women hating trash come on your page bragging about, I got me a Caucasian pink woman now. And you let that stuff slide. And they attack people that's really that love black women on your page. You let that slide because there's something in you. I'm not a woman basher. What are you then? I'm an Uncle Tom. And you went to fight for your country. A country that lynched how many black people? A country that we suffered under Jim Crow. Rape how many black women? But you don't care about black women getting raped. You call pink people brothers and sisters. When did they become brothers and sisters? I don't call my enemies brothers and sisters. And if you want me to call you brother or sister, you got to prove it. Not because you talk. Not because somebody gave me some vagina. And speaking of vagina... You talk about how much you want with what Caucasian woman you wouldn't mind screwing. I do not find my enemy attractive, male or female. When I was a child and didn't know no better, and because of the, of the images on TV, I find 
found Mary Tyler Moore attractive. I found Sally Field attractive. I found Annette Funicello attractive. And for Caucasian women, they I guess they are attractive. But when I became and learned how to love my black self, when Thelma Evans popped up, those women was done. Bernadette Stannis. Oh, hey. Bernadette Stannis, if you're out there, you know, and she still got it going on. She's a little older than me, but, and Thelma from Good Times still got it going on. I love black women. Fat. The ugly. The ratchets. The hood. I don't care what the black woman is. Because whatever she is, I'll help, help her get better. If she's sick, I help her get well. If she's blind, I help her see. I'm like the Jesus to this woman. That's why I stand. I'm not going to make fun of you because you're blind. I'm not going to make fun of you because you're crippled. That's what y'all Negroes run around with your self-righteous ass. That's what you think you're going to do by making fun of people. And then when it's your turn. When somebody show you how blind you are, how crippled you are, how dumb you are. And see, you always talk about how smart. I can always figure things out. There's a reason why you don't show your face anymore. Because you got tired of people calling you fat. I don't care nothing about your personal self. I don't care nothing about your personal appearance. I have no concern with personal attacks. Stay on the topic. You can, you can uh, uh, attack me personally if you want to. But when it's all said and done, your argument you still have not proved. You can call me a mental patient. You can call me lonely. You can call me an old man. Speaking of old man, oh, he just jealous because us younger people what have you younger people done? You ain't did a damn thing. Except run your mouth. You have not changed no laws. You have not done nothing. Except benefit from what older people have done. Johnny come lately. The only thing you've been able to do is run your mouth. You have not been able to change nothing, including yourself. Because you're still a dark European, Negro, pro-black, I want to screw a white woman slave. That's what you are. That's what you have become. Don't debate me. None of y'all suckers don't want to. I don't even have to know you. And you're not going to beat me. I'll take your $50 and beat the hell out of you. And if I feel bad about it, I might give you a refund. Y'all don't think worth the damn. You are just as emotional as these women you talk about. And here you are, you want to call yourself super. But there's nothing super about you. Crying and whining, they talking about me. They always attacking me. You bring yourself out into the public. You bring a weak opinion and you don't expect to get challenged. Then you flag and you block people regardless. You block people no matter how civil and cordial they are. I was on your page, turn your backside up and all your trolls, all of them, take your page over. There's nothing that you can do. So stop this garbage. And if you want to, we can debate. We can find a moderator, go back and forth and debate. You will lose. That's guaranteed, I'm telling you. Take a look at the man in the mirror and stop blaming everybody for your error and your own fault. And stop listening to these faceless chumps, these faceless screwballs that don't give a damn about you, period. But if nobody care about you, I do. Regardless to what you think of me. I will still listen to Harvey Superboy.
whether you like it or not. Jot down your comment. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, Tali, keeping raw. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.